Yes, and so I just go, I okay, what does it say? But... One more number up. Yeah, you also yeah, stream I, outside of this. I didn't change it, yeah. <laughs> I numbered them in my notes? Question mark? Oh yeah, I should have, I should get my notes up. <laughs> I have bad notes. I, have I, feel bad like notes. I, I feel like I could recap almost everything, but then I look up and we're all in space and I'm like, wait, maybe? No, we're in space. <laughs> we're, we're, I really, I, now I really want to hear Bobo's We're recap. on the final no, frontier. No, I, do, I do too. <laughs> all right, wait, oh, I don't have session four notes. Whoops. All right, let me, let me get you the recap music. Hold on a sec. <laughs> Session five. Recap music. For some reason, I just want it to be like Ra Ra Rasputin right now. Like I don't know why. <laughs> What's exit music for a film? All right, stream is ready. Yeah, but like we're, en ready we're entering, and is this a film? It's great. Great. What about entrance music for like a tabletop role-playing game? What's that? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll see how long this session is. Part two. Uh, okay. So let's see what's in the notes here. Hacker Smith insisted that we took the orb with us, perhaps portending an arcane and mystical event to forecome. Uh, then we approached uh, a group of cultists. <laughs> that I'm going to have to share in a little while. Wow. Um, <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Uh, Gilder and Tommy sneak up on them and begin combat with some knifings and some stabbies, and then out of nowhere, he transforms into a bear! Hell yeah, really. Your, your voice is not matching the music tone right now. It's, I can't. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Cult is a, it's a high heel. <laughs> Which is just a word that I wish I'd, it just makes me sound kind of Flemish. It's a hard um, Yes. And uh, they are, are, many of them are dispatched, however, they summon a fire elemental. And we do battle with the uh, singy son of a bitch, to use a little bit of alliteration. And as the battle winds down inside uh, the cave, a scream is heard. So we, with a little bit of prodding and a little bit of sense of urgency, rush kind of, sort of, at a medium pace inside the cave. Uh, and then space inside the cave of stars. But we like completely blew past the puzzle. <laughs> yep. No, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Nope. There's the puzzle, oh, the puzzle on the floor. Yeah, yeah to puzzle. get into the space. Solved, solved by this, the symbol that was clearly on the door above us, yet we were trying to overcomplicate because we figured it's crow and this is going to be a mind bender. Yep. The symbol will lay all the old devices all different. And then through the door is endless space. And there, uh, somebody might have to correct me, but we just sort of seem to be choosing constellations out of some thought of, well, how can I get everybody else in the most trouble? Uh, <laughs> as we found ourselves uh, <laughs> fighting a yeti across a bridge uh, where he was uh, summarily uh, tackled uh, by the good Van Riel off into space. Uh... And there was uh, some other interesting things. Uh, a giant ring of fire, which I still don't think was really that real, but apparently we just dug a hole and got out of that one. <laughs> Easy. Thanks, Molders. It was like, like <laughs> the anti-Michael Bay idea there. <laughs> um, I don't know what that Says was. the guy who wanted to walk into the fire. I, you know, just cleanse me, Daddy. What can I say? <laughs> um, <laughs> We also, mm. uh, in the constellation Zadkiel, led us to a room with a woman uh, by three cribs, uh, a bunch of, bunch of boys, and then uh, let's see, there was another room with three more cribs and a bunch of daughters. It seems to be that there's some gender play here. Interesting. Uh, and then, and then space, and here we are, ish. If anybody has anything to add. We Almost, but that. not quite. But go <laughs> ahead and take an inspiration hey! for your recap effort if you don't already have one. We are no longer in space. We're not in space. I just, you know. Um, I was hoping for my comfort. When you got down to the last two constellations to check, you guys never did go to Hosmed, but uh, two two doors opened in space a golden one for Sahakiel's constellation and a dark one for Lelil's, and you guys decided to go through. The dark door, or Vanriel did, 
I did. I mean, and yes. everyone else got sucked in after you, where you found Suckers. yourselves uh, mm. sitting inside of the richly decorated, ornate uh, nursery that you had seen before. And sitting with her back to you, looking out a window, is the woman that you had encountered previously in the visions. Though you never been able to interact with her before. Before we get started, I do want to say that uh, we're wrapping up the tutorial slash prologue stuff. So be ready for note taking. Oh, great. Especially. Um, oh. Like, even I'm taking notes now. And wow. <laughs> wow. Hey, I have notes. <laughs> Share your notes. Okay. <laughs> Fine, I'll share them, but I will have to I'll have to like censor things when I copy them to the public version. Listen, I'm just gonna point out that Crow made a point to say tutorial, so I think he's been easy on us so far. Yeah, no, definitely. Well, I yeah. haven't driven in my life at all multiple times. Yep, exactly. Well, you know, in all <laughs> fairness, uh, I think all of us have died once now, except for Bobo. Which is rude. Ha -ha! You know what? No one's died. Like... What? People okay. have gone unconscious. Uh huh. Okay. So anyway, I feel like Bobo is, play <laughs> is playing D and D like he plays hoots, like way in the back, not actually actively participating, but like sniping, like from really far away. Is that it seems. Well, right. if you don't, if you, you know, if you don't want my damage, you know, like, <laughs> you say that like it's a bad myself. thing. I know, like, right? Really. Although I, how did the mage? How, how dare sorry. this rogue not yeah, die? Really? Right? This. <laughs> how dare a, this rogue do exactly what his bitch. build is supposed to? I'm pretty sure I've killed as many uh, people uh, as what any like almost everybody I'm else. I'm pretty sure you've people. killed the most out of the entire. <laughs> I, I, keep, I keep I keep rough kill counts, and Bobo has killed the most things. I'm gonna say, it's, <laughs> not even, it's not even a, not even close. Follow, I'm, I'm followed by Winter, I'm, followed I'm, by Bumble, followed by. Uh, Although Bumble fell way down in the rankings last session. You had a rough day. <laughs> I'm helping you be the best you by just being quiet in the back and doing my thing. I think okay. I have only killed two people, and one person I chose to knock out instead, and then Bobo killed him, which is wrong. <laughs> <laughs> That's called kill stealing, sir. <laughs> Bobo's got to get that, get that kill credit. <laughs> <laughs> Go confirm, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> all right so just caught, caught me man just let's get let's get let's get rolling all right um inside of the room you guys find that it is your ideal temperature and you feel extremely comforted so and at peace individually for each of you mm. um the woman sitting in the window turns around and looks at you and you can see that um she's breathtakingly beautiful she has pale alabaster skin dark midnight black hair and uh instead of ir irises in her eyes she has crescent moons mm. i not hear this jesus christ w -C. Facing down out of curiosity oh i turned my music i turned myself down someone say something hi hey hi hello okay Test one two. Yeah, we're good. I turned my I, I turned my own my my, like, my yeah, master can... volume down. Um, <laughs> and she says, "Hello, my children. I have been waiting for you. I think. You think? I can't quite recall the things that I once knew, but your face is." think I have seen before, or will see again. Uh, she gets up from her chair and curtsies, or sitting back down, says, I'm not all that I used to be. Well, Vanriel will approach her and try to provide some kind of comfort and ask, um, what do you mean by that? Uh, as you approach Vanriel, a chair appears just in front of her, similar to the one that she's sitting in. So Vanriel will sit in the chair. Yeah. Um... She 
she says that once upon a time she was or will be has been uh something connected to uh Lilial. And that if you want to, you can call her Lilith. And that when her daughters were taken from her, she lost s something. And she doesn't have the words for, for this. She just gestures. And you can see a look of like pure forlornment and sadness as she glances over at the empty cribs. Uh, Gilder approaches and, and uh, asks, what, what happened to your children, madam? Um, she can't remember all the details, but... Aeons ago, or yesterday, she and uh, Sahakiel were lovers. And they had three perfect, beautiful sons at some point. However, and there's no, no shame in her voice as she explains this next part, the moon can't be bound to anyone. You know, she's the mother of the night. And so she did stray, and she had children with other lovers three daughters when Sahakiel found out, found out he flew into a rage stole her daughters cast them down into the mortal plane and sealed her away here in the tower I thought you said you were Lilith she is I am but you just said The moon cannot be bound. Are you, are you also Lilio? She was. So she is no longer Lilio. Correct. Hey, Farian, take out the orb. <laughs> <laughs> Marianne will uh, just kind of been listen to all this. Um, she she will also kind of like approach, uh, take out the orb, um, and and ask, um, is this is this one of your artifacts? Um, when you take the orb out and approach her with it, you see her outline go kind of hazy and transparent before she pulls herself back together. Uh, she reaches out and takes the orb from you it like snaps out of your hand into hers mm -hmm. she says yes i i do remember this called this the tear of lilil at one point it used to be part of something larger Zahakul and i each created an artifact imbued with well the strength we had at the time that allowed us to meet safely and secretly here and she gestures around her in this space uh, it flashes a couple times and you can see foul inside of the uh inside of the orb there's like a constellation point and two faint lines extending from it now that were not there before okay. she hands it back to you says although the magic is much diminished from what it once was i have been able and able to restore a very small part of its power you'll have to identify later okay but, um, i was literally about to ask uh like what was and what, hey, what can power i have like 10 minutes <laughs> <laughs> i'm just gonna be like and what what power is that exactly
Uh, she smiles at you and looks into your eyes and says, what do two lovers wish more than anything else in the world? They want more time together, young Farian. My half of the artifact has to do with time. Aaron nods and we'll put the Sah orb away. Saha's half has to do with space. Has dominion over space? That sounds better. <laughs> Retcon. Yeah. Um now I have to correct my notes. <laughs> and she you can she gestures and chairs appear for, for everyone. Lovely, lovely plush armchairs. Erin oh. will not sit. She's gonna lean on one of the chairs trying to look cool. <laughs> <laughs> uh Vanriel will look into her eyes and ask if Lilith, do you know what happened to your daughters? She frowns and repeats her bit about Saha flying into a rage and taking them from her. She assumes that they must be somewhere on the mortal plane. And in fact, with a moment of, of, of clarity, says that they need to be found and returned to her. Her children? Her children. Because the world, the world is horrifically out of balance, and no one has noticed it yet. But starting on midsummer, the days are going to continue to get longer and longer and longer and longer until there is no more night. Well, that sucks. Um. Uh, Thomas will ask. Uh. Did. Did you also have daughters? You see, like, children with other people, but specifically were their daughters. What? The, the daughters. The, the fucking. That's what, thing was, yeah. that's what, that's what I just asked. With, uh, is it? I'm blind. Sorry, I was finishing my notes. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> do you mean the, do you mean the son? So, no, it's not good. No, no, do you mean the son, so, so? No, the daughters. So, yeah. So, Hakil and Lilial have three sons that are their children. Lilial has three other daughters that she had with other people or cosmic entities um, that have been cast out of the celestial plane. They are somewhere on Kradon. She doesn't know what state they're in. She doesn't know what they're doing. She does know where they are, roughly. Two of them, oh. at least. Didn't I ask that and she wouldn't tell us? <laughs> I don't. I don't think you did. But I what 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 I asked huh? you? Do you know where your daughters are? I don't know. Oh, you mean the sons? You know where the sons are? The sons are also on the mortal right. mortal plane. They're trying to prevent the return of the daughters. They're fiercely loyal to Zahakiel and extremely judgmental and angry at their mother mm. for her behavior. Are we on the celestial plane now? Or in the celestial plane, I guess? Yeah. yeah. And now that you're like start trying to pay attention to like where you are and what's going on, you realize that when the Leo's been speaking, um you're actually hearing like a chorus of voices that are speaking in every language you understand at once. Mm-hmm. And looking out the window, uh, you see both a moon and a sun just suspended in midair, casting whatever is out there in a deep twilight. Ooh. And it just appears to look like, you know, some woods and stuff, but there's no door out of this room. She's going to uh, <laughs> close her eyes for a moment, open them again, and say, Yes, 
Yes. I think it has to be you five. You five are the only ones that can return my daughters to me. Varian, what about Varian is literally Varian's literally just gonna ask why. <laughs> <laughs> like why do you think we're like 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 why why us? Like what I I'm no one special. Uh Lilil smiles and says, Because you're here. And you wouldn't be here if you weren't the right five. What about your sons? Do you not want them brought back to you as well? Uh, she frowns and you see a tear glistening at the corner of her eyes. It says, I would love for my sons to be returned to me, for I still have much love in my heart for them. But I fear that they no longer feel anything for me other than that I am a villain. All right, bad terms. Would uh, Vanuel would look at her and ask, "It would Zadkiel have any interest in reuniting you <laughs> with your daughters?" Uh, she smiles and says, In the days following the birth of my daughters, Zadkiel was one of the very few who would come and spend time alongside me, who was aware of the secret. And when Saha discovered and chased me out, Zadkiel was one of the few who sheltered and protected me. He is one of the very few brothers that I still feel I have. She raises her arm and looks around the room. No one else is here to save me. No one else has tried. Can you not save yourself? She shakes her head and uh, gestures at the chairs that she, she conjured and says, I still have some small measure of power, but think of it a raindrop compared to the ocean. Here I am nothing. Here I'm just Lilith. Lilith, do you have any idea where we may uh, begin our search? Why not? Um, she smiles and says, I do. And with a gesture, the room around you begins to morph into something resembling a library and she begins to fade out slowly as the room changes you hear her voice echoing in the room saying please please find my daughters i will be with you as best as i can and then she vanishes as the room coalesces into the library you saw earlier in one of the visions Is this the library I recognize? <laughs> like, yeah, it's, the, it's it's the, it's one, the one that you one? saw um, when you did the Estivus constellation. Oh, but like, oh, it's not one that I. It wasn't the one that I have been to, like in that. No. In the, okay. Um, and as you appear folding the library, uh, the chairs vanish. So any of you who are sitting in them fall, or leaning on them. Um, and several books fly out of the bookshelves and land in a pile in front of you. What What's the title? Can I read them? <laughs> <laughs> they, they, Are they about <laughs> dragons? <laughs> uh, you can't. You cannot read any of the titles. Oh crap! Do I recognize the language? No. I open one and see if I can read that. Okay. Um. Give me a. Oh boy. Uh, wisdom saving throw. Oh no. <laughs> That's, yeah, not one of the good ones. Almost my dude. Oh hey, that is a natural one for a two. <laughs> You're starting out by great. <laughs> Alright, um, Farian, you take four psychic damage. <laughs> okay. 
Um, <laughs> what does that mean? That as the it, so there's different types of damage. Like damage is just a type of damage. Yeah, I think um, I know. Like I normally think done I know. by when you when you look at something, you know, you your mind can't comprehend the words that are laid out in front of you, and they sear themselves <laughs> into your mind, and you can't stop look, looking away from, or can't stop looking at them, no matter how hard you try to peel yourself away. And um, the rest of you see Farian's hands start to, like, smoke and get brighter as she holds on to the book. Oh, I'm gonna would go and try and close the book, and yeah. I well, said, Vanya will reach out and just knock the book out of her hand. <laughs> okay. Um, you do. You manage to succeed. Uh, Farian, you've learned that the alternate relic artifact, Sahakiel's one, is called the Chains of Sahakiel. And that together at some point they were forged into something called the Amulet of the Eclipse that was broken apart uh, thousands of years ago. Um, the chain was sealed away as far away as it possibly could get from Sahakiel's uh, territory, from his domain. So it's deep, deep underground, buried deep, uh, buried beneath the Norn and Antius border near Kester with the dwarves. It was forged into the what of the Eclipse? Amulet. Just the Amulet, Amulet of the Eclipse. Eclipse. We have the chains of Sahakiel, we have the tear. The hands. The hands of Sahakiel and Lil's tear. The hands? The hands? Definitely said chain. I I referred to it as the chain afterwards because I thought it was my note. The, it's the yeah. orb in the chain in my notes was the hands yeah. of Sahakiel yeah. and, okay. and Lilio's tear. Okay. I wonder if that's what the um, cultists are looking for. Makes sense. Why they're digging? Why would they be digging? You're like, whoa! I mean, I feel like there is an easier way to convey that information in that book instead of searing okay. it literally into my mind. But yeah, Farian, you will never, ever, ever forget that. <laughs> um, if you are ever subject to a mind wipe, you will still remember. <laughs> the hands of Sahakiel are buried <laughs> under the mountains in between right. Nord and Antius. Right. So, like, all of the books in this pile look equally suspicious? They all look the same. They're slightly different colors. They have no titles. They're unadorned. They're very plain books, simple bindings. Guess what I should have done? I should have checked the books for traps, but <laughs> I would not have thought of that. <laughs> so... Uh, I, don't, right. I, don't, I, don't, I don't think she necessarily wants to read another one, though. <laughs> Although she kind of really does. <laughs> uh, there are um, four more books in the pile. I'm going to read another. Oh my I'll God. read a book. <laughs> okay, make a wisdom saving throw. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. This is a six. <laughs> All right, take <laughs> three psychic damage. <laughs> Are you going to go dumb? <laughs> no, I don't think so. And I'm assuming that Vanriel smacks the book out of Farian's hands again? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, Lil's tear used to be able to do, like, a lot more, uh, Farian. Like, there are accounts that you now know of it stopping time over tens of miles, square miles around it. There are... Um, reports of it making people move so quickly through the passage of time they appear to be teleporting mm -hmm. uh, and other such feats i guess you you, you can learn what what she did to it um okay. you can now catch so anyone who's attuned to the orb and someone will have to attune to it can cast slow once a day and it recharges every sunset how long does it take to attune to the orb about 10 minutes it's like it's like what an hour, right? Okay. Attunement, attunement's like a thing. Okay. Again, and anybody can. There's is there's no limit on the number of people who can be attuned. No, only one person can be attuned with it. Oh, okay. Some magic items require a creature to form a bond with them before their magical properties can be used. Uh, so this this is, bond is called attunement. I'm pretty sure we're all in agreement <laughs> that Farian is going to attune to the uh, orb. Mm. I was just curious. Yeah. Maybe. Of Maybe he's holding it. Yeah. yeah so Farian has his Farian. Holding it. 
Farian has to spend a short rest focused on only that item. Only that item, yeah. Physical contact. <laughs> okay. I feel like she's done that already. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, I want to read a book too. Okay, make a wisdom saving throw. All right, Vanuel is like watching Ooh. Carter pick up the book <laughs> and is ready to pop it out of her hand. <laughs> if All need right. be. Um, you have no problems reading it. Get wrecked, Farian. And after. <laughs> A second or two, it flies out of your hands and back into the shelves. Because you already learned everything that it wanted to tell you. Which is I... that uh, you need to find somewhere extremely hot to reforge the Amulet of the Eclipse. I'll read a book. Okay. Um... Lelil's three daughters' names are Clora, Lachesis, and Atora. And slow down. I will. <laughs> That's Clora, C L O R A. Okay. Lachesis, which is just Lachesis. A L C H E S I S. Latch, S S. And Atora is A T R O R A. Thanks. And they are. Um, there are urban urban legends about them. What the frick is this music? Yeah. <laughs> uh, having something to do with uh, prophecy and fate. There's one more book. Who's gonna read it? Who's gonna oh, read it? oh, oh, yeah. That's right. <laughs> probably got better wisdom. Oh, I'll so it. Yeah. Who's got good wisdom? I do not. I got negative one. So there you go. I can read I the have, next book. I have very good wisdom. I'll read it. Okay. All right. I was gonna use my emulator for using it. Uh, make... uh -huh. Yeah, you're totally fine. Um, so, Clora has been, is, and will be somewhere in Cromer. She's imprisoned by the family of Dawn, which is the name of the cult. <laughs> if, if only one of us knew that and could have shared the information. Uh, somewhere in Cromer. Uh, uh, you said the family of Dawn? Mm -hmm. D-A-W-N? The cult mm -hmm. of Dawn! Okay. Bum, bum, bum. Uh, Achesis is somewhere near Keen Tree on the Estrin Antines border in the woods. Near what tree? Keen Tree, the city. And Atrora is uh, not in Bradfordshire, but she will be someday. Someday? Within the year. In the year, okay. So many fucking just also, sorry, big, question marks at the end of my Big sorry, I hope you're writing down things for your own characters, because, alright, the cigarette reviews just came back. What was that? I, 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 reviews, reviews for my papers just came back, and I skimmed them, and I don't really, yeah, I'm, I'm back. I'm not looking at them, they're bad. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, not good. <laughs> uh... The three suns are morning, noon, and evening. And they're just immortal men. You also hear an echo of the warning of the Leo saying that uh, starting on Midsummer, which is in two weeks, uh, the days will just continue to get longer and longer and longer until it's only day all the time and the world begins to burn. I'm sorry, I need one second. My cat's being a douche.
so we the back on the mortal plane. Oh, there is one more book. That's my bad. <laughs> totally forgot. Um, I will read it. Okay, give me a wisdom saving throw. Well, I will in. use my amulet to roll a 10. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay. Um, <laughs> all right. I'm back. Got him. <laughs> okay. Um, Lil's tear uh, can be powered up by bringing it to various shrine there are various places that were important to the leal or attuned strongly to her energy um you're not magically trained at all so i think that's all the detail i can give you son of a bitch <laughs> I just it has uh nine nine stronger forms i let varian know <laughs> <laughs> okay um, uh, Farian, you would assume that it has something to do with ley lines and ley line crossings. Okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, Lalil lines. Oh. Farian does not make that terrible pun. Only her player. <laughs> only her player does. All like that wisdom that Vaughn has. It's just, he's so wise. Does the book doesn't have any info on like what those upgrades would would be um they're the ones like, that you found out earlier okay you know um i would assume that the ninth level is time stop <laughs> all right and so on and so forth all right uh, when the last book flies into the shelf everything begins to go all wimbly bimbly and you guys find yourselves snap back into the cave Whale in the cave. By the door. By the door. The damn moon puzzle. I'm going to... Not do what I said I was going to do. <laughs> what do you want to do? What a... I was going to use primeval awareness to see if I could sense cultists, but that would be silly because it would sense all of the humanoids next to me, and I can't detect them. <laughs> and it's not listed that it can detect humanoids anyways. So. Isn't it only like undead, celestials, demons? Dragons, fey, fiends, apparitions, elements. Good. Yeah. So there's options. options. Maybe Philly and I want to go on an adventure to try and find dragons. <laughs> yeah, but they're not... I don't think... Parian doesn't think they exist. I want them to exist very badly. <laughs> <laughs> if we're in the mountains within six miles of one, I'll be able to tell you. <laughs> uh, all right, gang. <laughs> Seems like this is probably a good time to uh, take stock of, of what we have learned and maybe uh, go speak with J&J and, J and figure out what our next move is. But what happened to the cultists that got in ahead of us? There weren't any. They left. They couldn't figure out the puzzle. Oh, they couldn't figure out the puzzle? Wow. Nerd. I thought they like <laughs> walked past the door and just Dumbass. went in. <laughs> no, they couldn't, they couldn't solve the puzzle. They kept um, getting vaporized, yeah. Approximately 34 of them got vaporized. Yeah. Wow, they're super bad at this. <laughs> got vaped. Got vaped? <laughs> so what do we tell you and J? Oh, Success. one more thing. Success! Uh, that is a story milestone as well. The campaign's actually starting, starting. So you guys will be level 5, and we'll slow down level in for now. Oh, Whoa, sorry. level 5? Oh man, this Extra is gonna this attack. Is... Extra attack. Why does your mom let you have two levels? What do but I... remember you need a, you need a long rest to level I up. I do need a long rest. Yeah, this is this is gonna take a, the whole week in between sessions. So what are we doing now, gang? <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, I have we... my spells picked out already. Alright, so it it really sounds like we cannot give this orb back. 
Oh, I'm keeping the Zorb. Yeah, no, uh... <laughs> this is. If anything happened to the Zorb, I would kill everyone and then myself. <laughs> kill everyone and everyone oh, I did have myself. a question. Um, when you say cast slow, is that like including the concentration requirements, or could I cast like slow and something else with concentration? Uh, including the concentration requirements. Okay, okay. It has Just a checking. Slow does. I'm pretty sure. What the crap did JJ even okay. send us here for in the first place? <laughs> I don't know. They got a tip that there's a Lille related cave. Yeah. <laughs> All right. They can have this. I don't know. Lille question mark. Do we have anything to offer uh, them and the library? Grab one of the runes off the ground. Give it back to them. I don't know. <laughs> Not a bad idea. Uh, Thomas, you would notice that the tiles are kind of loose. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> can I can I scoop up the five that we used? To make uh, give me a second to think. Okay. Yeah. What does he carry? Nice. They're pounds of rock. Yeah, they're very heavy. Yeah, <laughs> like they're extremely heavy. Does it look like the puzzle still works? I'm like Tom. Like you're just gonna like break break this? No, the puzzle. If you take them, the puzzle breaks. Yeah, okay. can we take the ones that are gonna, not part of the puzzle? You're just gonna break it, Tom. But then we can use it when we want, and nobody else can. But that seems aren't... like an incredible amount of power to just leave lying around. But aren't we giving J and J the stones That's as payment? Rather convincing to Farian. <laughs> grab a six. Grab a six one, and we'll give it to Hackensmith. Yeah. Bing. I don't know. Uh, are the go like, ahead the things Man on the real. wall? The these moons and stuff are they like inlaid in the wall or? Yeah, like they're, they're like they're like silver moonstone. They're like grave robbing. If anyone is proficient in stone mason's tools um, yep i mason's clearly picked, thing, i obviously right? picked that in my yep, carpenter's <laughs> tools i'm not but I, yeah. yeah mason's tools are a thing okay i don't know we, don't we said no we, i'm just saying this we seems like no, a we thing we shouldn't just let here in a cave for somebody else to fucking roll through and see well maybe we don't need all five maybe we just need one so the puzzle sure can be completed in all fairness if the cult couldn't figure it out and like 34 of them burned to ash are we no, really we worried don't. about other people figuring it out? I, 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 I don't disagree with Tommy, but we do have to bring something back for Hackensmith. Yes. Why don't we just tell Hackensmith we couldn't figure out how to open the door? Well, we want well, to keep the orb at this point. Don't we want to offer them something in exchange for the orb? Or just a treasure that we found because he is our benefactor and he pays us. Hmm. All right, well, I'm going to pick up a stone unrelated to the puzzle and uh, <laughs> chuck it in my bag. Which, which, which one do you want? Do you oh. want badly drawn R, uh, backwards K? <laughs> that's a K? That's an no, R? No, no, no. no, no, no. Hashtag Hold on, Gilder man. crossbow hand? That's an want... R. Give me that Jesus, give me that Jesus fish. Yep, give it's gotta me be Jesus fish. the Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually an alpha, but that's okay. an alpha. I know, it is, but it's it's a Jesus fish. I thought fish. this one was Jesus fish. No, no that's I a breast cancer right. awareness. Group. <laughs> <laughs> All right. so, okay, you can you can pick up the alpha stone. It weighs forty pounds. Nice. <laughs> you are, you know, you can't use your hands. That means you can't <laughs> shoot things. I'm just, I don't know, leaving the puzzle here completed seems like a bad choice. I mean, you're welcome to pick up not, a stone. Not having use of my hands is another thing. <laughs> I mean, we can just uh, we can I mean, gather them across the room. All right, well, I'm not carrying this stone <laughs> all the way back to Hackensmith with my bare goddamn hands. <laughs> what about oh, Tom? Man. What about Tom's bare hands? <laughs> Roar. Is Tom <laughs> does Tom have more strength in bear form? <laughs> uh, yes, my strength is nineteen in bear form. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm getting into bear. town. Wait, wait, as wait. A, as a bear. Yeah, I just just <laughs> casually stroll out there with as a bear form. Yeah. I don't think I that's have low. better forms for that, sir. <laughs> I'm pretty sure so I can just carry it if you want me to just yeah, carry it. You can carry it. It's not an issue of carrying it. We have horses and a wagon outside. It's not a big deal. I All just right. don't want to leave the puzzle completed for some dingus to fucking walk in and fuck around with the slush. That's what I, okay. Uh, Alright, so then I, we are in agreement. 
and <laughs> Gilder throws the Jesus fish onto the back of the wagon. <laughs> There's no wagon in here. The puzzle's still completed. I'll pull, I'll pull out, out the stone with Le Lilio's symbol on it. Right. Okay. Oh. Are you going to take it with you? I'll take it with me. Okay. Do I need to add it to my inventory? Sure. It is a 40-pound piece of granite. <laughs> <laughs> with a red moon rune emblazoned on it. Alright, is there... A so are your, we... um, your professional appraisal of how old it is would be mad old. <laughs> really goddamn old. Are we the taking oldest balls? Are we taking anything back that to give to Hackensmith? Yes. That's what the, the, what the rock is for. <sighs> what? What? We think that rock is enough to get to have the orb. What? What else are we going to give him, Van Riel? Oh, they gonna be I mad you... vandalized this area. I thought you were offering to give him Van Riel. Uh Wow. <laughs> Uh, we didn't vandalize it. What do you mean? We could, I mean, we could, you could put a bag. No, it's a puzzle. We, 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 just, we didn't we vandalize didn't it. In the system. Yeah. Is I really don't want other people it... talking with a celestial plane, and that's why I want to mess the puzzle up. I don't and care I'm agreeing about agreeing with Tommy. Is it really vandalism if we didn't really break it? I mean, you can put it back together, you know. Yeah, One could argue vandalism. this is a sacred. What? Sacred area. You're right, and one can also argue that you don't want random <laughs> fucking cultists messing around <laughs> with your sacred area. But it's also what if, desecrating what if cultist, the sacred area, isn't it? What if cultist number 35 would have figured it out? Well, Vanriel is 100% against all of this. He's okay. gonna he's gonna be pouty, a little bit moody about this. That's fair. <laughs> Vanriel will remember that. <laughs> I'll give you. I'll give you inspiration for that. It's a good, good in character. Mm. Hill to not die on, but sit on grumpily. Yeah, um. grumpy as hell. <laughs> <laughs> we could also bring them back here and show them the area. Like they are, they are interested in history. I'm not sure. I, do you trust them fully? They've given us no reason to not trust them. And I'm usually a pretty insightful person. <laughs> I'm cool to go back to Jane and Jake. Yes. We yep. have those two stones. Shall we? We can go. My, I put mine in my backpack. Thank you. Okay. Um, are you guys going to tell them anything about your adventures in the Celestial Plane with Lilith? Arian will not. <laughs> I will not. I, I think all they need to know about is, uh, I don't know, maybe we fought a, a demon of fire. Are we not going to try to keep the orb? Yes, we no, to they just don't need to know why. All right, Vanuel's also opposed to this plan. <laughs> I think Hackensmith knows that. Vanuel, Vanuel can do whatever he wants. I know. Vanuel's going to... If he's asked directly, he's going to tell them what happened. If he's not, Daniel, what's not your problem with all this? <laughs> the problem. Oh, the orb, the orb could, is going to be very useful for us if we are going to find these daughters. The problem is that we have been tasked with a sacred duty from our angels, and we are acting like it, it's shameful, and we're not to not tell anybody. We're pretending like it's not important. I mean, we're trying we to sneakily tell around and do this. I mean, to be fair, they did lend us the orb for this trip, so if we want to do more expeditions, there seems to be a case to be made that we can keep the orb, because it'll be useful in discovering artifacts that they're interested in. Oh. <laughs> Damn it, Bo. Uh... <laughs> I'm just not, I'm not a fan of, of lying anymore. I, I think, I think that Hackensmith wanted us to have the orb. I'm not really sure why uh, he would do so, but he was insistent that we bring it. So clearly it, it and its fate is of interest to him as well. I just feel like the more people that know what's going on, the more likely it is somebody slips forward to somebody that knows somebody that knows a cultist, and then all of a sudden we're being hunted by cultists. Like we're not already. Right. Right, but we're there's a case. 
we honestly have a case to be made that we need the orb for for future you know excursions that's not why And yeah, like Carter said, I think the less people that know, the less likely it is that A, one of the sons, or B, one of the cultists, mm. I mean, find out and start tracking us. And, that, so and it's that's in our best interest to keep it on the down low. And that's all well and good. I've already said, if they ask me directly, I will say something. If they do not, I won't say anything. But, but knowing this could also put them in danger. This is true. Well then, shall we? <laughs> Let's go. Good idea. Okay. Let's go. Uh, Top house. You guys, do you make your way back to J and J without any further adverse encounters? Um. Bashed him with a rock. And as you as you as you approach them, they. Uh, seem very excited and happy to see you. And you can see that there's been like, you know, they have their supplies broken open. There's a tent that's been erected with piles of snow next to it. And the campsite looks like it's been there for a while. Hmm. And Jacob leaves up and says, they're alive. I told you they were going to make it. I told you. Someone bet against and, and he, us? He runs... <laughs> <laughs> Run, runs up to you and says what happened you guys have been gone almost three weeks wait what oh, boy. Uh, <laughs> uh, that's a I'm gonna go with, actually wait no one week one week. okay okay <laughs> I mean that's still, a big, that's still a big bro moment but like yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I said three. I'm thinking about something in three weeks. They never said three weeks. It was always one week. It was always one week. Crow is just thinking, getting the streams crossed. I'm looking at my, my DM outline, and it says three weeks for <laughs> a thing that I'm writing oh, down. Okay. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. oh no 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 no! Well, gentlemen, it uh -oh. was a long and arduous excursion up into the mountains, full of danger and requiring a good bit of daring do. Um, J and J seem generally more concerned for your well-being than what you may or may not have found in oh. the mountain. The war you know, cultists. It was a bad time. So they're going to make sure, you know, you're sitting down, you have a nice hot cup of, I'm just going to say coffee. I guess coffee exists. Um, does, does tea exist? I yeah. want tea. Tea, please. I want okay. chalky milk. <laughs> <laughs> How the heck would Thomas know what chocolate milk is? No, it's Dude, I don't well. know. It's chalky I milk. want it in real life. Yes, please. Please use the correct name of chalky milk. Thank yeah, you. it is chalky milk. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> fresh hot chalky milk <laughs> fresh hot chalky milk oh hot god chalky. Oh, so good to be back with you boys <laughs> uh yeah so, yes, no, they'll, have, they'll have your your choice of either coffee or tea warm Yay. blankets and food I have tea. um and as soon as you see the food you guys realize that you're like starving like it feels like you haven't eaten in a week well, it it sounds feels like, like I haven't eaten in a week. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Carter. Um, only after you're settled and uncomfortable does uh, Richard ask you, so, did you guys find anything? I think Carter said they were cultists. Yeah, we found a lot of those. Yeah, there was a, a lot of those. And a demon of pure fire. Didn't they see that? Or I don't know if they saw it. But they, nah, they, they heard. heard. They, they, they would have heard the fire. I, was say, I think they heard it. Richard will nod and say, "I think we heard that when you guys were going in, unless there were more." Yes. He shakes his head and whistles. Whistles admirably. All right. All right. Uh, <laughs> says, "You five are much stronger than 
well. No offense, but that your appearance is dictated. Although he kind of peers at you and says, "You all seem different." Because hmm. we gained two rough while we were gone. <laughs> 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 all right, uh, this is not in character at all but when bobo said yes i had to think to myself did we actually face more fire people to the kids i can't remember <laughs> no 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 we just said we're not gonna tell them you know, <laughs> i know but i was just like <laughs> fucking shake, shaking hands with the gods here boy i might as well been doing something <laughs> I just wanted to say, yeah. No, no, yeah. I'm just saying, like, I, for, like, for a split second, I was like, did we? <laughs> Got him. All right. No, why is it moving? I like it. It's dancing. Well, huh? It's because well, you desecrated it, you sons of bitches. You unspiritual desecrate. swine. All right. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> and desecrate these hands, all right? <laughs> I'll just okay. I'll just be like. I'll just be like. It was a, a rather extended. Uh, we figured we would take care of the cultists, and um, we didn't exactly keep track track of time too well. Yeah. What did you do for food? Uh, we managed. Uh, I, I kind of dwell it into my bag, bag and like pull out a ration. It's like I don't. Yeah, I have a few of these left. I technically have a spell for purify food and drink, but I wouldn't say anything because I'm not lying. Let's just uh, not act like I ate a cultist. How about that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Keep that one on the down low, probably. <laughs> Make less sense out of context. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it makes about as much, you know, sense in context. <laughs> I was yeah, like, I'm trying to I'm trying to figure out like <sighs> was angry. That cannibalism? I was a bear. It's not cannibalism. It's fine. <laughs> but he's not like he's technically not a hu like out of character. He's technically not a human either. So changelings are humanoid enough. Did now hold on hold on. Did he make a decision? That's, that's true. Did he, did he are the other decision? races allowed to like eat each other? Yeah. Did he make... <laughs> Decision I feel like I would man. eat a fish person if given the opportunity. <laughs> or, do you, or do you like draw? The, or do you draw the line at like? Your do you like draw the brain. line at like sentient, intelligent creatures? I mean, mind flare might be delicious. You don't fucking know. <sighs> you fry some mind flare tentacles. Oh boy! Is this an actual With, conversation um, we're having or not? No. Can All right. Tempura. All right. All right. <laughs> well, no, no, I'm just curious because if so, I was gonna say Vanuel's gonna be shaking his head in disgust this entire fucking time. <laughs> I would not do that. Um, did okay. you guys keep that thing Varian gave you? Oh yeah, the the, the hot, hot rock. rock. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hot rock. Oh yes, yeah, so the the hot rock. Yeah, we still have it. Oh, How'd you guys cool. manage to keep it from setting things on fire? It's in the snowbank over there. <laughs> <laughs> it's the snowbank like smoking. It's steamy, yeah. It's like steamy. Steamy. yeah. I mean, like, okay, okay. What the, what the hell happened to the kid? Can, can I use? The hot rock in the snowbank to make like a mini sauna. <laughs> what? No, it's like it's like a tiny gem. That sounds to me like Carter. <laughs> Carter wants a bath. That's what it sounds like to me. I haven't eaten in a week. It's logical to imagine I haven't bathed in a week. All right. So it sounds it sounds like we want to go back to town. What? Like if we go back to town, I do want to find Aiden Bulk. Yes, I think I think it's about time we put all of our chips on the table. Okay. Wink, wink, wink. Um, as you're going back to town, unless anyone wants to stay for any reason, I'm gonna assume they're not. Uh, yeah, the J and J will ask, "What'd you What'd you find in the cave?" Yeah, we saw this. Nah, here's a rock. It was fucking forty five pound slab of granite. <laughs> Got a Jesus Shoshana, ain't that weird? Uh, Jacobs pulls out a very expensive, fragile-looking set of, uh, like, large magnifying glasses. Um, they're not, like, not don't think like, like detective magnifying glass. They're just, like, single pieces of polished quartz-looking things. Like, they're about the size of his hand. Yeah. But they have different levels of magnification. He's looking at it and he's going, Oh, yes, this seems to be 
hundreds of years old and the carving is actually quite intricate i don't i don't think i know how they managed to get the color on this room to stay etched in for so long interesting interesting and this was where in the cave uh while we were wandering in the dark we found it uh lodged against the corner it lit our way for quite a while you carried this 45 pound piece of granite as a torch well, sometimes you have to make it do. We got torches. We do! My sword lights <laughs> up. <laughs> I just kind of like J look at his J back. Jane, Jane, know well, that you have a light up sword. Hey, yeah. Can I, can I roll, gave it to you. Can I go, can I, can I just roll go fuck myself? Because my, <laughs> my team just shat on my line. Um, you can I'm not going to say anything. I'm just going to look at your You can roll performance. You're what? trying to tell very, a very... Yes, uh, a story, a tale of um, a, a right. yarn. Uh, yeah. blah, 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 you can you can, try, you can try performance. I'm gonna say this too. Vandril's gonna give you a look like, "Are you fucking serious?" Is it performance or persuade? It's persuasion. Get out of here. Is it performance? You're gonna mm, son of a bitch. Performance. All but... right. <laughs> I would take performance. I agree. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Alright, so uh, Gilder talks at length for like <laughs> hours about your adventures in the cave and Jay and Jay don't really seem like they're they're buying it. Or that they're mad into the story. Are they like the only ones that fail rolls against? Yeah. I'm, uh, like, so, I, like whisper Carlo pole on the side. I'll be straight, I'll be with, straight you. with you. We didn't we find didn't anything find interesting, but we wanted to bring something some back, back, so we grabbed this on the out, out, on our way out of the cave. But there's no more clip now. There's no more Richard looks. Richard looks at you, uh, offended, and says, "Not interesting. How is that not interesting? The carving is sublime and it's perfectly preserved." Damn, you just got told. All right, I'm just, I'm just thinking of like them looking at like Crow's sketch of like. <laughs> <laughs> it is so intricate. <laughs> so intricate. It's just. This... I mean, I mean, just like, fucking, look at the detail. <laughs> old as balls. <laughs> I mean, it does. It does have some some pretty wiggly lines there. It's a lot of detail. <laughs> hand hand carved. No, yeah, I mean, yeah. You know, we also got rid of the coldest. And there's, there's none left. There's there's also I guess there's more tiles. No, there's there's still more in the cave, but we couldn't bring them all out. Understandable. Understandable. Welcome back to town. Hello, town. Hey, can I identify that? Hello, that hot give rock? me a minute in. <laughs> On the way back. Yeah. What is uh, it? Yeah. What, what is the hot rock? <laughs> uh, it gives if you are holding it or have it on your person in some way, it gives plus one to hit and damage for fire damage. Well, Farian thinks that's. Fucking useless. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but we'll say uh, we'll we'll tell everyone about that. Fire damage. Who needs fire damage? <laughs> <laughs> we should hang on to that and see if we can like find somebody that knows how to like walk it into a weapon. Or we could talk to the people about at the museum about it. I don't know. Seems That's like a good idea. Like. Okay, so you guys are back at town. It is night. Um, J and J are going to take the cart and the stones to Hackensmith's museum, uh, and they ask for the orb back. Hmm. Mm. Mm. Well, I'll be like, um, well, the orb was very useful in in retrieving, um, you know, the the or exploring the the caves in. In this expedition, um, oh, what did it do? I'm sure Hackensmith would love to hear about it. You well, <laughs> love to hear that his hunch paid off. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it helped us actually, um, like kind of like reveal those tiles to us. Um, and you know, it would be great give if me we a, could... give me a deception. Oh, god, no, <laughs> <laughs> can I assist him? In... Well, like, it did actually reveal tiles to us. You're yeah, going to attempt to, you're doing a, attempt to tell a group lie. Yeah, I'm not part of this. Like the, 
like the the, the guy lie from scrubs that's all that's amazing <laughs> that's amazing sequence by the way but right, i did i did i do have my right. role i'm gonna this give you guys is... wait i don't know if i should do okay this. what's your role it is a 12 <laughs> just a straight up 12. oh okay yeah oh, you're good oh, okay yes my plus zero bonus to deception. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean it would be very, very useful for us. Um, I believe, and I kind of like look at the group. I mean, I, I believe we're we are interested in in pursuing some of these these artifacts further. So it would, you know, if if we could hold on to it for a little bit longer, that would be the excellence. Um, where is your rogue? Me? Uh, give me, give me a persuasion. Wait, our rogue? Yeah. Where's, where's your face? Mm -hmm. I don't understand. Wait, I'm so, I'm so confused. What is happening? What's happening? Yeah. Is Bobo here? Is he back? Yeah. yeah. Do you want to attempt to add on to and or embellish this? Ooh. And make a persuasion roll? Please. Add on to him? Yeah, I mean, I'll Please add on to it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Check persuasion. Sorry, I just wanted a quick have... uh, crunch. I have no charisma. <laughs> uh, how are you? How are you embellishing the uh, <laughs> the reason why? Like, how are you persuading them that you need uh, to hang on to the orb? That you need to hang on to the orb is what they're, they're talking about. I came into this late. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, I was saying that it's been super useful, and if we're going to go looking for the artifacts, like it would be very, very handy if we could like hold on to it for a bit longer. <laughs> so how how was the orb useful to you in the cave? Well, didn't uh, didn't Farian already say it lit up the tiles? The the magical energies and Farian seem to coalesce. That there's a real attachment between the two of them, almost as if they have created ley lines in their minds. Mm. <laughs> okay, they'll buy that. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> neither neither of them know anything about magic. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I used all the terms and the knowledge of which I had with a little bit of <laughs> performance. You, you, totally, you totally CEO'd your way through that. <laughs> Dude, that's all you need to do. Buzz it's like words. half of, being, it's like half of being a wizard. Words. It's like half of being a wizard, Lighthouse. Oh, it almost seems like someone doesn't have an appreciation for the dark arts. <laughs> That's weird that the paladin does not have an appreciation of the dark arts. <laughs> All right. Um, they'll be satisfied with that, I think, and be like, well, I don't think you're going to skip town on us. We did return after a week, apparently. And well, we did. We did come I can't back. really think of anyone's hands safer than yours to leave it in if it's not the museum. I agree. So... I suppose we'll let you hang on to it. And there's a little bit of a gleam in, um... Shit, what's his name? Johnson or Jacobs? Hackensmith? Jacobs. Jesus. Um, Jacobs' eyes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna level. I'm pretty sure I've been flipping their names back and forth. <laughs> in Jacob's eyes and he's going to say plus if we present a compelling argument for hanging on to the orb with our uh, crew here may we get fast tracked onto getting any other potentially interesting looking jobs even if the orb's not directly involved could be good for us as well you know, you know okay how about you hang on to it we'll, we'll talk to Hackensmith Thank you very much. Thanks, buddy. All right, so they they will depart. I can't and leave you in front of the. Give me a minute in. Ha ha ha! I can't either. Ha ha! How late in the evening is it? It's like dinner time. The inn's really really crushed. It's nice and busy. Um. Yeah, let's 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 uh, let's grab a table, gang, and. 
and suss this out. Maybe a bite to eat, indeed. Seems like we certainly have very many options. We have very options. Yeah. My busy tavern, thank you. Yeah. How, how long does it take to store a, a spell in the thing? In the the ring the uh, all, all you have to do is all you have to do is to store a spell in a ring of spell cast store it, right? is cast the spell yeah cast it well I, yeah i'm just gonna quickly like make like while i'm walking i'm just gonna cast mirror image into the ring of hold the ring the gem of spell storing oh you scheming already no i just i'm like i'm like we're gonna take a rest so i'm just gonna keep, like burn my spell slots man like Oh, wait, I get new spells. I mean, I'm going to do it anyway, but I forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so the menu for tonight at the Give Me a Minute Inn is... Uh, <laughs> Stop it. Boiled eggs, fresh bread, and dried peas. Uh, a roast pork and some millet biscuits. And then a dish called Baked Dragon, which is just kind of like a... Um, Breaded omelet. I'll okay. order the baked dragon. Yeah, I'm having that. I'll take the pork. Mopey, are you yeah, eating pork. with us? Pork sounds fine. <laughs> Yo, am I, am I Mopey? <laughs> are, are you Mopey? Are you still moping? Are you are you vegetarian for religious reasons? I I feel like I need to know. No. Okay. I'm eating with you," <laughs> he says curtly. curtly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. So, uh, it certainly seems like we have uh, a few different leads here. I'm pretty sure we're all in agreement as a as a party of five that we are uh, we we seek to find the daughters of Lily. Right, everybody. Right. Yeah, I want to. I want to see what other secrets this orb has. You, you're yeah, just, I don't, I don't know if Varian cares about the daughters. <laughs> I know Vanriel not... wants to sh wants to save the daughters. No, Varian thinks that we should get the daughters too, because you know I the world ending seems bad. Death of the yeah. world sounds bad. Yeah, ending the world sounds bad, but also along the way we could figure out what the orb does. I'm just saying. Hmm. Right now. I'm just looking at notes. <laughs> so, where do we want to, you know, convince J and J we want to go next? Is it like Cromwell or Keen Tweet? It's probably not worth going to Bradfordshire quite yet. We're in Bradfordshire. It's actually correct. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so it seems like we can't do anything about Atrora. So we have two daughters and then the other half of the amulet. And we've got to grab all of this. In about two weeks' time. Well, I mean, it didn't sound like no. that was a hard limit. It's just that Plus, things would start a happening. little while. Yeah, you know. And like, and maybe, maybe they'll happen they'll slower happen. if we like start. I don't know, dissuading the the family of the dawn or whatnot. Yeah. It, it will slow down when we get one of the daughters back. To buy us some more time. Uh, uh, I think Cromworth is the closest city, so it'll probably be the easiest. Assuming do we want to go wait around? Immediately face off with the cultists? Like, well, the might, might not, not be. That's fair. So, so what do we know of these cultists? And Gilder reaches into his bag and uh, pulls out. Uh, he's got the medallion and a robe, and uh, and he's got the letter, and he throws the letter down. Bum bum bum. What was it? <laughs> Was that? Uh, was that? Was that letter? That's, all this that's time a piece I've been of paper. all this time I've been uh, uh, gathering all the things that I can about these shady cultists of dawn here. Uh, so far, I've managed to uh, grab the disguise, which you saw me wield to great effect. And then also, uh, we do have this. Vanderall rolls his eyes. Yeah. Well, what else is new? <laughs> uh, this here. What, 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 the letter. The letter which. Uh, find several mentions of the sisters and the sons of the family of Dawn and artifacts. And it says the cultist was killed as part of this family of Dawn as a relatively low-ranking member. 
And then, Crow, isn't this the letter that's addressed to the guy with the name? Uh, Nathaniel Pendleton. Yeah. Pendleton? Shit, that wasn't what I have. Okay. And it was addressed <laughs> to this Nathaniel Pendleton, apparently. How long have you had this letter? Some time. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> so does the letter provide us any new information we didn't learn this session just a name and a lead pendleton pendleton okay do we have any idea where we can find this pendleton just got the letter yeah looks like he wanted the homies to be murdered <laughs> yeah, he is. Yeah, he's one of the dudes we killed. <laughs> oh no, you're right. His name was Pr his name was Nathaniel Prentum. Oh, Son oh, of my a God. bitch! I just crossed it out. No, it's Pendleton now. <laughs> <laughs> it's my details. Oh, that's right. We killed him. Wait, it's hyphenated. Pen Prentum. Wait, wait, wait. Which is which one? Is this the one that? <laughs> his name is Prentum Pendleton. <laughs> no, excuse me, Nathaniel Prentum Pendleton. Thank you. Oh he's, my he's God. His full name. That's his full name. Uh. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> Mr. Pendleton's his father. <laughs> so how do we convince J and J to let us go to Car is it Carmoth? Cromerth. Cromerth. Easy. We find a dig site. And how do you propose we find a dig site? I'm sure someone around has Oh some we talked to Aiden! Aiden Bulk, he might know. Exactly. Oh, yeah. Let's get all the He's names. He's the only the person that has any evidence or any connection to the theory that Lilio had fling with Sahakio. By the so way, Bumble's echoing. Oh my god, we could go to him. Know. Dude, we could go to him and blow his mind. Just be like, you're totally right. It's all true. <laughs> we don't really know who we're looking for. Or any sort of... Hey, actually, I have a question. If, so... Uh -huh. Can the orb, since it involves uh -huh. ley lines, is it able mm -hmm. to like point me towards like other locations of power? Like, can uh, it no. do that? Okay, darn. Man, it's not gonna be that easy. <laughs> no. Damn it. Uh, what other what other objectives do we have? We have anything they might have missed? Hmm. What was the so which so yeah wait what are our, what are our options? We wanted to talk to that dude. I want to talk, talk to Aiden, Aiden. Aiden. Bulk. because I feel like we can do that before we leave. Mm -hmm. Why do you assume he's here? Did we assume he's here? I think we read that he was here. I mean, no, a week he, ago he, he was here. He wrote the stuff here? in the angel room. Was he here a week ago? That's I the only thing I remember his ago. name from. All right, I don't remember how we. I think we, we, no, we definitely but, said we um, were going to talk to him. Make a history check. <laughs> Who? Whoever's trying to remember if Aiden's here or not. Mm -hmm. Some things you don't have to remember. I can, I can, I can be your memory. Oh, uh, yeah. He's, um, he's working at the library here. Oh, yeet. Yeah. All right. So you're not going. Oh, the library. <laughs> Wait, I had it. I'm not. I'm not going to prompt you as much anymore. What he's saying is think okay. for ourselves. Right. I don't like it. Uh... <laughs> I, have, I, have, I, have, I have crash roll 20 trying to upload a map of Antius into it. <laughs> oh, it nice. Well. Uh, okay. Well, we can go talk to homeboy, which we probably should do because he's here. That yep. makes sense. Uh, we're gonna have to convince J and J to let us go to one of the three locations. Uh, which so locations? Which locations are there? There is Cromer, there is Keen Tree, and then the other one's going to be here in Bradfordshire at some point within the year. At some point. So I think we should go. I think Carter is right. We should probably head to Keen Tree because Cromer is a a big city and B, she's in prison. So we should probably not go to prison. Wait, 
So, but wouldn't that mean that we should go to the person who's in the most need? Mm. Arguably speaking. I mean, we don't really Arguably, know what she's... But she's also going to be the most offended. But she's also not probably going anywhere for a while, too. Oh, so we're just okay with leaving a woman in jail? No, I'm actually all for going to the jail to save her. Same. Well, maybe we should figure out what she's in jail for, and then... Obviously, the right choice know. of action is to split the party in two. That won't, that won't, that won't <laughs> no, no, cause no, any kind of no. problem at all. <laughs> I'm going to go with a hard no. <laughs> all right, no, but in all seriousness, uh, yeah, Fanriel would be all for... If someone's in prison and in danger, that's who they want. And for sure, they want to go help them first. We as don't know that she's in danger. Gilbert. As does guilt. In prison means you're in danger to me. <laughs> I mean, not like you're going to be executed the next day. We don't know that. Do you know her sentence, Farian? Oh, I mean, that's what I'm saying. We should, should find out. That the daughters are pretty powerful if the sons are literally immortal. If she's yeah. so powerful, why is she in prison? I would guess yes, that means there's a there's son, a son in, play. in play. Mm -hmm. and I don't want to go, go there right now. And that again I, sounds to me that she's in danger. If she was in danger, she would already be killed. They wouldn't be fucking imprisoning her. Okay, for, for there we go. Finally. Here's Antia. <laughs> Just a little yeah. bit of danger. Just a you little decapitation. Yeah. Oh, Cromarth is the big fuck off city, and that's probably bad news bears. Hey, Crow, wait a second. <laughs> I have I have a question. Where is where is the glade I grew up in relative to Keen Tree? Uh, you know, like here-ish. Okay, Perrin does not want to go there. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? When that is mine down here? I don't remember. <laughs> no, you're like down down here. I forgot about right. that. Yeah, the oh, Perrin does not want to go. Okay. Perrin actually really does not want to go to Keen Tree at the moment. Uh, now that we brought the map out, Thomas agrees that we should go to Cromer. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Cromer sounds great. Wow. Woods kids, high five. <laughs> Forest kids. Is, is this area up on the North Norn? Yep. yep. Yeah. We don't know. We just know that also the other half of this amulet is like, like somewhere on the border between. Ooh, okay. Yeah. Why did I shave the these floor. as freaking? Oh, oh! World map, world map. Why did I save these as tips? What's wrong with me? <laughs> it's actually a great question. Why did you do that? <laughs> I should remake the world at some point. <laughs> Just the God. Things. All right. So, uh, what else do we? Have well, it's just ugly. Here? I know so much more now. <laughs> so, uh, do we need to go see Hagana Smith? Uh, probably tomorrow. Um, we want to see Hagana Smith and then go find Aiden tomorrow. Is that the plan? Yep. H that Hagen sounds like a good plan. Yep. Hagana Smith, and then we'll have an extra. Well, we're we gonna take a three-day weekend. Ha <laughs> ha. How many? How many days do we have left? How many days do we have? Um, probably like four, four or five. Yeah. Four. Before including this day. one. So tomorrow you will have three. And I'm sorry, I'm rocking back and forth in my chair away from my mic. So you have three days left after tonight. Of room and board, right? Of free room and board. It's not that expensive word to how much money you have. But it's my money. Okay. <laughs> um, so what about, like, tomorrow we go do these things, and then the day after everybody does their own things, and then the third day we go do the thing. Hey... Sure. I mean, it occurs to me we should probably try to learn what the condition of the daughter is in, in Cromer. Yeah. I don't really want to rush in blindly. Did we get a name of the daughters and sons? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. I couldn't remember. Sorry. Clora. Which one, which one is in Cromer, though? Clora. 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 Okay. Not, uh... Ow. Just in us, what? All right, that was probably when I got the review email. So, yeah, well. my bad. <laughs> <laughs> I just, sorry, I got very distracted. Advisors were also like actually messaging me. Okay, so thank you for hiding that party chat winner. Yeah. 
Oh, um, just kind of random group business. I have the hot rock, and I explain what it does. Um, and I also uh, kind of explain um, yeah, I don't, I don't really, honestly, use too many fire spells. So if someone else can can use it, otherwise, I, I guess I could keep it. Uh, fire, fire anyway. spells. I, I, I don't have any. I don't have any capacity for spell work. <laughs> Does it, is it specifically fire spells get yeah, stronger? Yeah, so Crow, Crow said if holding, it gives you plus one to hit and damage for fire damage. So damage counts, I think. So is it just plus one fire, fire damage or plus one to any fire damage? I don't know, you'd have to ask. What? Me. What's the difference in that question? <laughs> well, is it plus it's, one it's, for it's, die or is it plus one overall? No, no, it's it's plus one to fire damage that you deal it does not add fire damage okay but wait what if it casts fireball is it like is it just a plus one to the end of that total yeah yeah oh this is way less cool than i i wanted yeah that, that's pretty bad <laughs> <laughs> i'm like i mean okay i mean we could also see if anyone if we could sell it maybe just, maybe the museum wants it i don't know i'm okay with selling it it's much less cool than i thought it was <laughs> <laughs> yeah Kind of a hot I, rock. I think that might help uh, the museum be more favorable to give us the. Could let us hold yeah, it if fair. we give them another artifact. Good thought, Tommy. Hot rock. Hot rock. Hot rock. <laughs> super rock. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that super though, honestly. Yeah, I know, but. I, I couldn't fit hot rock into the super hot thing <laughs> and have it make sense, so I had to figure it out. All right, buddy. <laughs> oh, what was? Sorry, how much were we supposed to be paid for this excursion? <laughs> yes. Gotten paid yet? Where's our? Oh, we haven't gotten paid yet, right? Okay. You didn't. You didn't ask. Oh shit. <laughs> well, we're gonna go see Hackensmith tomorrow. Yeah. All right. So. Long rest. Long rest. You guys will be taking your long rest, so you are formally level five. No, it's gonna take all week to figure that out. <laughs> you can just you can just like Crap. like switch you to level five and then like I don't know you can just defer the trait the like traits oh, until fine. later. I get to figure it out because I have to change classes to get my second attack so I can do more. Pitching, 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 pitching. I am I am also switching to fixed HP because I really can't afford to roll low. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm taking the fixed HP all right, now. Level five. I got one ability score improvement. Or a feat, which we'll cover later. Um, yeah. I already know. It is another wonderful day in Bradfordshire. What's the temperature? What's the weather? What is the uh, it looks like it's going to be a, a semi semi cloudy day. Um, I believe we'd call that partially cloudy, and uh, it's probably going to be like a high of 76, 77. It's getting warmer as you approach midsummer. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. Almost like the days are getting long. How, how far is midsummer from the day that we are? A week? Because you missed a week? <sighs> no, come on. That's, <laughs> what? That's so, that's so cheap. <laughs> Things keep happening all the time. Everything time. happens a lot. Everything happens a lot. Time is a crack. Which is a, big, which is a big fucking mood right now, Winter. <laughs> time is a crack. Oh, Everything happens a lot. Rest in peace, horse ebooks. <laughs> wow, are you really playing? I hear that. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's a beautiful day. It's another beautiful day in Bradfordshire. In the neighborhood? <sighs> okay. So you guys are heading out to the museum, right? Dr. Yes. Hatton Smith? Yeah. All right. Um, at the museum, you immediately bump into J&J, who are in the front lobby, talking to uh, one of the people like the archivists that you saw working in the basement and they say oh hail hail and good morning friends how was your rest it's excellent well, restful more powerful already more restful. <laughs> <laughs> um what brings you to the museum today um we wanted to bring this hot rock and, and I produced I produced the hot rock in a fireproof bag. I'm just assuming I have one of those. 
It's hot. It's a hot rock. It, it's, 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 in a, it's in a very hot bag. Um, I know what the hot rock is. We gave them the hot rock for a while. <laughs> <laughs> um, the archivist walks over, says, uh, the museum would be interested in purchasing any artifacts that you don't wish to hang on to off of you. You say this was a hot rock? Mm, yeah. Why not for yourself? It's pretty warm. <laughs> if we oh, get hold to it? name artifacts. Yeah, he'll, hold, he'll take it. Oh no, we get to name artifacts. It's a hot <laughs> rock. <laughs> I think we have to commit to the bit at this point. Um, so he'll he'll like juggle it back and forth in his hands and be like, hmm, were you able to ascertain its properties? Uh, yeah, and I explain what the properties are. Okay. Um. He walks over to like you know where I said like re the reception desk was. There's like a hole in the wall, and he just yeets it into it. <laughs> I'm like, uh, falls, uh, falls into the basement. Are you sure that's not gonna catch something on fire? <laughs> uh, he scoffs and says, "I'd be surprised if anything could break the wards in the containment units that are down there." Okay. Okay. Checks out. I respect. <laughs> and he goes over to the desk. Uh, and pulls out a key from it. it says, um... 500? 500 sound good to you? Mm, I kind of look at the group. I mean, I'm I'm good with that. <laughs> Koto makes, like, yes eyes. And... <laughs> <laughs> Just kind of look at the group. I'm like, yeah, we could, we could split that nice and even. <laughs> Conveniently. <laughs> Yeah. A, a stiff, a stiff nod, and says, "Please make yourselves comfortable in the lobby and wait here. I will return momentarily." And turns curtly on his heel and walks off. Okay. I thought about trying something, but every one of them has failed. <laughs> Try and nab a fucking artifact again. <laughs> um. J and J. Ask you. So. What's the plan, friends? <laughs> what the frick? <laughs> Mozart, get out of here. <laughs> Does Mozart exist in, in Krona? Is there like a, a composer that was equivalent to Mozart? Um, there is, actually. Nice. Dude, I'm going to go try to find like a concert at some point. Because um, one of the angels is primarily the angel of music. Ooh. I thought you knew that. You read the angel list. I did read it. I forgot. I forget a lot. Of <laughs> I forget a lot of things, okay? Um, What's the plan, they ask. Um, we'd love to continue exploring anything that may seem related to Lilio. Um, we want to go meet Aiden Falk and see if he might have any interesting leads, even in like the realm of Lumos. Leads for what? Artifacts relating to Lily. He wrote all the uh, stuff here about the angels. Ah, uh, okay, okay. I suppose that makes sense. <laughs> Uh, hmm. I'm gonna say I heard, like, I overheard the cultists mention something about Cromer. Uh, to try and get the idea in their heads that we should go to Cromer. <laughs> yeah. Interesting, you should say that. We were actually going to head down to Cromer tomorrow. Peace meets in a week. Well, a hot ticket. And we we haven't missed the festivities since it was established. All right, peace meet. Peace meet. Mm -hmm. um, um, Thomas, you've probably never heard of peace meet. I was to say, would we yeah, know I'm, what I'm, I'm, sheltered, I'm sheltered completely forest, blind and be like, uh, yeah, peace meet. Yeah, 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 for sure, dude. I was going to cool, ask cool. that question, Crow. Do, do I know what peace meet is? Yeah, you know, you know what peace meet is. Okay. Yeah, Y'all are from civilization. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all are from civilization. <laughs> <laughs> Like, yeah, 
Peace meat, uh huh. Nobody else like peace meat around here? I remember overindulging on the sweets as a kid. It was it was a good time. You know, I've probably heard of it, but I've probably never actually been there. No, you would not have been there. I would not have been there. Um, Van Real, going to peace meet might be something that's like on your bucket list. Okay, that sounds like, that sounds about right. Okay, and you say, well, as your regulars, would you uh, would you mind if we accompanied you down there? I I have never been myself, so I'd be interested to see it. Uh, Johnson laughs heartily, claps him in the back, and says, Of course, we would love to take you. Peace meet is a wonderful time. Festiv festivities and spectacle, as far as you can see. <clears throat> and more food than you'll ever eat again in a life. Excellent. Well, then I suppose that's our plan for the time being. Excuse me. When are you leaving? Tomorrow. 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 It's a long journey. Like a lot, of, a lot of time to talk to a horse. A lot of time to talk to a horse. It's 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 like four hundred miles. Holy. F <laughs> yeah, help me look at the scale. What? There's a scale on your map. Yeah, yeah, there's, there's a scale up there. Yeah. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Fifteen feet. Two hundred miles. <laughs> 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 mm. Mm. Let's go. This mm. would be 400 mm. miles, you know, mm. as the crow flies. So <laughs> 500 as the crow flies, you know, change for the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 400, about. Yeah. So, so Midsummer's in a week, right? So by the time we get there, the world will literally be a ball of fire. No, no, no. no, no. It's not. It's gradually happening starting at I Midsummer. Know, it's just like... We're all going to die. Not gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> Like in game or real life? Roll a week in there just for a bone. <laughs> just roll oh yeah, that is about that is about three squares, huh? He literally just did it. I know. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a little slow, okay? No, it was on okay. the screen. I don't notice things. <laughs> I'm exactly like my character. I don't notice shit. <laughs> oh my god, and everyone's doing it. <laughs> yeah. Wait, is it still thirty five square feet? No way. Wow. Okay. Uh, yeah. Wait, we came from all the way over here. Jesus. Yeah. yeah. You uh, you traveled very far. We did travel very far. We have traveled much far. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think the scale of the world's off like a little yeah. bit, but we're going to roll. <laughs> I have you said 400 miles, 400 miles it is. Alrighty, I mean, okay. as long as it's consistent, who cares? Yeah. There are other cities and villages and towns and stuff that are scattered around. There's just none of them are as big as no, the ones that are on the map. None of them are as important. What is what you're trying to say? Some of them are quite important. <laughs> you never know what the random encounter table is going to ask you to do. Oh God. <laughs> okay. Uh... I don't. I don't use a random encounter table. I just make stuff up. That's the spirit. I mean, that's the same. <laughs> the same to us, bro. And that's what matters. All right, so we get there. So that's our plan. We're gonna go. I'm gonna go find Berkey. Yeah, we should talk to him. Yeah, or quite important to the story. Got to talk to Hack and Slash first. I know it's not his name. Hack and Smith. Hack and yes, Smith. Hack and Smith. <laughs> I'm aware. I like Hack and Slash better. I like Hack and Slash. <laughs> Hack and Slash. The Archivist returns carrying a fat sack of cash. Hey! And gives it to hey. uh, Fairy. Slight of hand. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to give everyone 500, not 500, 100 gold each. No, I just... I'm going to give everyone, yeah, 100 gold each. And which prompts um, Jacob to slap his forehead and be like, oh my goodness, we never paid you for the last excursion. What did we agree on? 500 gold each. I, don't know, I wouldn't say that out loud. <laughs> <laughs> Carter would say that a lot. I, I know. Linehouse, I don't care about loot. Also, Linehouse. <laughs> uh, Gold is remember. not loot. Does it I didn't loot? write it down. I didn't write it down either. I, th I want to say it was like so either 25 or 50 gold each. They're asking you. 
Yeah, I'm gonna say. Fine, call it Opie. Like, I wanna say it was either like 25 or 50 each. Wow. We'll call it 50 for the week's worth of time. Okay, so what's, wait, wait, what did we just get? We all got a buck 50? Wait, wait, did I just yeah. hear, oh. did I just hear the, the money grubbing Carter just say no, it was only 25 or 50 instead of bumping up to 100? So my notes have have it as they gave us fifty gold and trinkets for the last excursion. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, I grabbed that fifty. Spent um, a bunch. I'm not evil. I didn't write down anything about this excursion, so that's my I don't bad. Know that we talked about it. Yeah, I, don't... I don't think we talked about it. Yeah, I don't have it written down. I mean, we didn't. We we said that they were gonna offer us like the the other thing was they were gonna offer us a contract afterwards as well. Yeah. Ooh, contracts. <laughs> yeah. Who came up with that idea? <laughs> okay, so uh, <laughs> everything's tip tape top shape here. I'll be on our way. How much? We gotta 50? get our money. Was it 50? 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50 each. So wait, we each got 50. Plus 100. Plus 100. We got 150 gold. 150 gold. We're rich. That's pretty easy. We're Just wealthy. Away, like candy. This We're independent. Candy. We're happy misers. Okay. This is like not enough to like go find a third level. <laughs> Second level, maybe. All right, let's go get to Let's go talk to Berkey. Okay. okay. Right. We weren't talking to Hackensmith at all? Oh, we're going to talk to Hackensmith. Oh. Didn't we have I mean, to ask him about to? the orb? How did we have to ask him about the orb? We didn't yeah. get a decision on the orb. Oh, we're I thought Jay and Jay said they were going to take care yeah, of it. Yeah, I that. thought they, they talked to Hackensmith on I, our behalf. Yeah. Is that okay. not what happened? I don't know. That's what There's I thought. Happened. I mean, like, we can still go talk to him if you want to. <laughs> you could right. ask Jay and Jay. They're standing, like, right there. Yeah. yeah. Hold on a second. We're, we're talking about ourselves. Hold on a second, Jay and Jay. <laughs> yeah, I'll ask him. Like, hey, if, you guys, if we're going to leave with you, I just want to make sure that, that the Hackensmith isn't mad at us for keeping the orb still. Do you, do you guys have a chance to talk to him? Was he ever mad at us? Uh, we, weren't, we weren't able to talk to him. Uh, and, the, and the archivist speaks up and says, uh, Mr. Hackensmith is not seeing visitors at the moment. Oh. Well, that... now we're visitors, huh? Just visitors? No, I'm just kidding. Yes. I'm not saying that. Okay. Why, is he, <laughs> why is he not accepting visitors? Knows he much? Uh, as it's yes. his condition, you see. As he gets older in age, he finds that he needs a few days a month to recharge his spirits. Well, that's relatable. I don't blame him. Is he a man? I assure you, he is still in perfectly robust health. Is he a man of faith? You have nothing to worry about. Insight check. <laughs> Van sure, is legit on. asking if he is he's a man. Is he a man of faith? Oh my Hackensmith? god! Yes. Yes. <laughs> Crow, it's a natural twenty for a total of nineteen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, natural twenty is minus one. Um, yes, the archivist seems earnest. Alright. I buy it. I already bought it. <laughs> now I'm, do you, I'm sold Do you happen it. to know what god he... Or, oh god, what angel he, um... His worship? Oh my god, man, you, you, just, you can't just ask who somebody <laughs> worships. Uh, I just did. The archivist gives you a bit of a withering stale, stare that communicates uh, his feelings about your intelligence to you quite clearly. Well, it's um, quite low, I'm sure. I think it is actually really low. <laughs> yep. Well, actually, not that bad. Whom do you think he worships? Wait, wait. Side note. Is this actually a bad question? I don't remember if it's a bad thing to ask no. about angels. Okay. You're a freaking paladin. Yeah. Get up all people's faces. <laughs> yeah, that's my whole point. Uh, okay, I'm not going to lie. I don't remember all the angels. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Worst paladin in a... <laughs> Knowledge, dude. Oh, yeah. Can I do a roll for knowledge? No. <laughs> that how it works? I don't know how it works. You can make, you can, okay, go ahead and make a religion check. Yeah. That's what I meant. Check for religion. Yeah. Do it. Wait. Exclamation point. I, I, See, I, re I know. See religion. I keep... Uh, oh. Just check religion, right? Hey. Yeah. So, um, he... More likely than not, worships Estibus, the angel of knowledge. All right, so I'm going to say that's my answer. 
final answer. Um, and you would actually uh, recall a... Hmm. Nine-pointed star. Well, yeah, it's, it's the nine-pointed star. I'm trying to remember like if I remember any of Estibus's oh, okay. prayers or greetings off the top of my head. I don't think I do. So... Mm -hmm. Oh, you have a scripture. I'm not gonna look it up right now. Um, you would you would remember a greeting or respectful, like the like the Estebisian version of "Peace be with you." Okay. And uh, say that, and you see that the uh, archivist nods approvingly. He probably also worships Estebis. Fair. Farian probably also would worship Estebis. <laughs> Mm, yeah, I don't know if she's, she's worshipping anyone actively at the moment, but yeah, she probably would. There are a couple of good choices for wizards. Yeah, I don't think she's really picked one. Well. Does she have to? Does Va does Varniel have a... Mm -hmm. does, she, does she actually have A pamphlet have for you. Oh god, she doesn't really want one. No, I don't think... I think I, I think uh, Farian would not be good for the camp of Sad Kill. <laughs> Wow, okay, first of all, rude. I mean, <laughs> am I wrong? All right, um, Farian, are you going to lead no. him to the library? Um, yeah, I've been there before. I also remember that they didn't let me in before, and so I would have prepared... Oh, I didn't switch that out. I didn't switch my spells. Um, well, well, I would have... I think, like, I feel like in character... I mean, like, I, like, haven't done it yet. Um... I think I would have prepared this guy's self for that. This guy's elf. <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah, if he knew he had to get back in, he probably would. And I would just kind of like quickly do that real quick before showing up at the library. I'm gonna, okay. give, you a, I'm gonna give you a look. <laughs> do um. Like what? You do it in front of the party, like they know you're. Oh yeah, disguising. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's okay. just I'm literally just using this guy's self to you know like, like. Just kind of like make my ears round <laughs> and like <laughs> just be a human, you know? Okay. Um, so giving you a look. I just kind of make a face back at you, just like, what do you want? <laughs> when you get to the library and you walk in, the librarian at the desk will look at you, point at Vanriel, and say, No elves allowed. Rip. Hold on. Dude, he's not. Wait, what? I'm a half elf, you fool. But not, I wouldn't say that loud again. So, so what do you say? Wait, uh, I'm here on official. Wait, no, what are we actually doing here? Again? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're here on official business, and I'm here to, and with my, with my, my group, my, my, this party, to have a discussion with Aiden. Is it Aiden here, or is it somebody else? I'm sorry, my brain. I like. I am not. Really no, it's Aiden's here. Okay. Yeah, no, you're right. Names you're right. are like mixed up in my head completely. Uh, anyway. Oh no, no, buddy, I get you. <laughs> uh, go ahead and roll, roll for persuasion. Oh no. Oh wait, I have really high persuasion. You're, you're a paladin. You should have really good charisma. It, does he though? Is that, is, that, is that a P? No, no. C persuasion. Yeah, okay. The librarian purses her lips and looks at the rest of the party and says, keep a tight leash on it. And gestures up the, gestures deeper to the library. Did you just, call, wait, did she just call Varian Yikes. it? Yeah. Wow. Well, I, have, I have like, I am like super pissed, but I really I'm don't want to cut the you scene. Along. Yeah, let's go, yeah. let's go. I'm going okay. I'm gonna I'll give let, her. I'll let, I'll let Tom push me, but I am really fucking pissed. I'm going to give her a withering <laughs> stare as I go up. I'm going to kind of bow my head in the face. Let's go. <laughs> God, I really want to just put snakes like under her desk. <laughs> Gilda gives finger jumps. <laughs> <laughs> right. In God. one of the back rooms, you see a middle-aged man uh, bent over a desk, and he's the only person Ooh. in the direction that the librarian uh, <laughs> motioned you. So presumably, he is Aiden Berkey. I thought it was just yeah, Aiden you're Nero. Yeah, yeah, you are. No, I haven't written down as Berkey. It has an E at the end, but it's just Burke. Yeah, nah, it's Berkey. Oh, Berkey. <laughs> <laughs> Berkey. Nah, it's Berkey. Inspiration. 
<laughs> so he's, he's he's scribbling away. Uh, he has like twenty books open and stacked around him. The desk is a mess. Big oh, mood. <laughs> kind of look at the group and be like, "Well, you guys are the ones who wanted to talk to." What him. are the books around him? I'm curious. Yeah, what I am also oh. curious about this. <laughs> uh, give me a perception to try and look at it without oh, no. getting too close. Oh no. Five. <laughs> Tell me about those books. Okay, they're all they're all folklore. <laughs> Uh, myth, some religious texts. Um, Vanriel would recognize like the angel equivalent of the Bible is on the table. Can I? Would I, I actually read, don't would know I, what that book is called. I should, would I, I know, know everything that. in that book, or should I, would I? Would I actually want to read it? Um, I would say that you probably know everything in that book. Okay. Like you are, you are very familiar with Augustine's teachings and you know what's going on in Baron and the Age of Faith and stuff. Sure. I'm apparently still mad at the receptionist, so I, I don't know this shit. <laughs> uh, Aiden, um, I, I read a lot of a your things on the display in the museum. You had an interesting take I'd never heard before on the relationship between Sahakio and Li Lilio. <laughs> he whips his head around. <laughs> And st stands up and says, a little, a little bit of gas says, oh, a fellow scholar? <laughs> he rushes over, grasps your arm, and goes, yes, the texts that I have been studying over the past uh, 10 years of my life has all indicated sort of a deeper, more myriad relationship between the angels and what we understand right now. In fact, I would surmise that our understanding of them is not at all uh, encapsulatory of their true essence or being. Man, I'm so glad Carter asked this question. Not any, not any. <laughs> We're on to something. Baron is also secretly very happy that Carter asked that question. <laughs> <laughs> what do you got, hun? <laughs> she's looking. She's still muted, but Don't. she's looking for cross-reference material. Don't don't tempt me, Winter. Um, <laughs> no, because he was like, yeah, just your own perception to see if you can read it without getting too close. Oh, you so know, so uh, you're just like, I don't know what's this. <laughs> um, he goes, the relationship between Sahakio and the Lil is, in my opinion, one of the more interesting. Only uh, triumph by relationship between Hazmed and Azrael. Yeah. When you say there's more of the angel than meets the eye, so you're saying Lilio, Lilio is not necessarily all about, about death, death as, as the two kings to as the like. Uh, okay. DM DM point of order. The domains that are listed under the angels are a cleric <laughs> mechanic. That's okay, not actually yeah. what they're like about. I always forget. When you, when you're, when you're playing, when you're paying a cleric, you have to pick a domain, and it changes what spells and stuff you know. The Leal's actual, like, areas of worship are the night secrets and lots. Mm. Yeah. Night shadows secrets. <clears throat> in this in this story, she's a motherly figure. So what, so I must admit, I'm not that much of a scholar. I'm more of a scholar in the adventure retrieving items kind of way. Okay. Uh, his, eyes, his eyes are still like shining with enthusiasm. And he, and he says, oh, how, this, is, this is so rude of me. Why don't you all step into my office? I have, I have a room set aside for me on loan from the library. Ooh. This poor guy's going to get crushed. Uh, Mm. Do I, like, can I do an insight check? I, I'm getting warm fuzzies from this guy, but I want to make sure that like actually getting warm fuzzies from this guy. Okay, Carter, okay. you have to trust somebody at some point in your life. <laughs> Apparently not. <laughs> no, you really don't, lie now. <laughs> Dude, I'm with Carter on this. Yeah, he's he's, just, he's really he's really into what he's talking about. Like really into what he's talking about. 
And um, he'll usher you into like what is basically more of a closet than an office. You're kind of all crammed in there like sardines. A little bit less than sardines. But he closes the door behind you and there's stacks of papers and books in the room. Um, he says, please, please sit down. Not, there's nowhere to sit down. And um, <laughs> he says, what are, your, what are your names? It is rare for me to find others who are as interested in, in the angels as I am. And he kind of air quotes angels. Wow. I'm Wait, if he air quotes angels, Vanuel's going to kind of narrow his eyes a bit at that. He does. <clears throat> uh, well, yeah, I mean, I give my name. I just say, uh, <laughs> I'm Farian. Vanriel. And Vanriel will be scanning the room for any interesting books to read or anything. Gilder yeah. and Bronco. <laughs> I don't know what you got get real French with the end of your name there. Yeah, well, <laughs> I'm gonna stop saying it. <laughs> um, I, I'm Thomas. <laughs> Ooh, role playing. Ah. Uh, <clears throat> so you were asking what I meant by there's more to the angels than what we understand. Well, you see. In Augustine's teachings, and he pulls out a different copy of, like, the quote-unquote Bible that's in this room, you know, the angels are described very literally as angelic, divine beings. However, we know that that's not the case. And he shoves the Bible, like, off the desk onto the floor. Um, it pulls out a different, a much, much older, well-worn book of folklore. It says, there's accounts and stories going back hundreds of thousands of years before Augustine even lived about divine intervention or unexplained occurrences you know that suggests that these cosmic entities or powers existed long before they became angels i mean they're angels in a more in my opinion my argument a more metaphorical sense than a literal sense so you think oh sorry i was but you don't deny the existence of these beings it's Oh, no, not at all. Heavens, no. Farron is like, so you think the, the, like, representation of the angels is more of a sort of representation of this, like, divine sort of presence? And maybe not necessarily, like, the angels weren't always angels, but maybe manifestations of this divine power is what you're saying. Exactly. Like, assume that you were an omnipotent cosmic entity, powerful beyond our understanding, yet restricted to... Thanks, I am. <laughs> <laughs> restricted to a very <laughs> linear, rigid way of thinking, in the air quotes, thinking. Um, but you could appear in whatever form you chose, or inhabit whatever vessels you chose. You didn't have to be angels i i propose that's just a convenient way to think about them and over the years it stands to reason to me although i haven't proved this um and he has a like uh, a board with lots of colored string and names <laughs> yes. written on it and around uh <laughs> that he pulls out from behind the desk and puts on top of it that the natures of the angels is somewhat reflective of our expectations of them, or rather what they are and what they do may be in some way influenced by the way that those of us on the mortal plane perceive them. Because if they are energy, and that's all they are, we're the ones subconsciously shaping it. And that's, that's extremely heretical, Van Riel. Oh, I know. <laughs> um, He's basically seeing Fer it. Fer Fer is so into this. <laughs> He's actually or... very interested in this. Vanrio is basically just seeing but not, trying not to say anything because he knows that the group needs him. <laughs> it, it also stands to reason oh God, Baron's gonna smite that this poor man. If you, if you look at the Pantheon as proposed by Augustine, there there appear to be some gaps like why is there no angel of you know the forest there's no angel of 
uh, the ocean. You know, if you look look at like the pagan pantheons, there's much more even distribution or deities that are more representative of abstract emotions or ideas like love. And there's none of that in the Augustine pantheon. Where are those angels? Do those energies actually exist in our world and they're just not prevalent or powerful enough for us to name them? And this guy will just like go. He'll just like <laughs> ramble. <laughs> well, Farian is, is pretty into this, and wants wants to know, like, wait, was the Pantheon defined by Augustine? Like, did he dec decree that like these are the angels at some point? Uh, but I know that he laughs and says, and he laughs and says, "Where have you been?" Yes, <laughs> Augustine decreed the current Pantheon. Uh, see, I, the person, the player, did not know that. Would my character have known that? Um, I'm not sure the elves care. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> well, interesting. This is all very, very interesting, interesting, Aiden, but, but... <laughs> uh, I'm interested I'm in looking at some of your source material and maybe using that to inform some of our future expeditions. Like I said, we've recently been exploring temples and of Lilio, and, and we thought to approach you because there seems to have been some mm, vandalism, and... for lack of a better word, by followers of Sahaki. Uh, um, <laughs> Aiden, Aiden says, do you have any proof? Proof of what? <laughs> Yeah, proof of what? What like, they were followers of Sahakiel in some way. Uh, I would like, love I'll if you do. Yeah, I pull yeah, up I'm the gonna, medallion. I'm gonna look at Gilder. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Um, and he holds Aiden it. puts out his hand and says, "May I?" Sure. All right. Um, he takes it and inspects it thoroughly and says, "Hmm." Typical Sahakio iconography, however, some of the design has been modified slightly. We haven't seen the sun as prevalent in any of the Augustinian texts as it seems to be featured here. The sunburst is more of a concept of Hosmed, and, and he flips through this book. Says, yeah, it was written down here. Now, if I take this and I cross, I check the back of the scripture... Hmm. He gives the medallion back to Gilder. Says, this is novel to me. I haven't encountered anything like this before. However, it does suggest some sort of sub-faction of Sahakio worshippers. And you said they were vandalizing a Lelial holy site? Yes. Um, that's what who you said the writing said I'm s I don't read celestial I'm sorry no one reads celestial no one can read celestial it's the God's language uh yeah uh, <laughs> <laughs> yep I don't I don't think he needs to know that I know it so we're just gonna go with that. uh yeah there was I a totally, translation yeah we totally don't know that do we um, and he says, but that does suggest that there are some tensions between Sahakiel and the Leal that aren't documented in the Augustinian texts, which supports my theory. Where'd you encounter these cultists? I must speak to them. Uh, uh, I don't know if well... that's a good plan, buddy. <laughs> or where'd you encounter these followers? Sorry, sorry, sorry. You didn't say they were cultists. Uh, we didn't actually encounter them. We just found the paint on the tomb and the medallion and made assumptions. Mm, give me a deception. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible lie. Because you're looking at me like you don't even believe your own lie. Yeah. <laughs> and he, nar he narrows his eyes and says, but that contradicts what you said earlier about how you... Saw some followers vandalizing. Hold it. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Literally like Phoenix, right? Just hold it. 
<laughs> Got him. So did you or did you not see these followers? Please don't lie to me. This is my life's work we're talking about. I know. Well, this is poor man. <laughs> I was cast out of the priesthood. I take this very seriously. We saw uh, we, uh, we saw uh, a, a group of them from a distance as we skulked behind a rock uh inside oh my god <laughs> we caught that we caught them performing a ritual okay uh, i see what's going on here i don't have the name of the mountain <laughs> yes you guys are worried about my health <laughs> very they did seem uh, like dangerous strange. more than one reason Mm -hmm. I'm confused. Uh, he seems a little kooky, and also I don't want to get killed <laughs> by cold mists. Those are my two reasons. Um, whereabouts did you uh, encounter these followers of Sahakiel? Uh, we were on a legally sanctioned expedition into the mountain. I mean, <laughs> I mean, yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, that's... Be yeah, do, you, do you know where any more of them might be? Uh, uh no. Uh, well, why are you so interested? Yeah, so why do you want to talk, talk to them? Understand their beliefs. Oh, you don't want to talk to them. They're very mean. They, yeah, they were less of the talky type and more of the angry, stabby type. What, what do you know of them? This is, this is the first I'm hearing of them. You didn't know they exist. No. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I don't it's know your about best it. interest to not meet. Yeah, you might not want to go looking for them. Um, he shrugs and says, "Okay, I'll drop it." <laughs> uh, He's not going to drop it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, we're gonna get this man killed. We <laughs> all. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I kind of look at Vern and be like, maybe you can just talk to him if you show him the orb. And I try and like not let him see it. Like, you are aware you're in like. There's like not enough room a for that. Ten by fifteen <laughs> office that's full of a desk and books. Right. I'm just like, I'm just like what do you want to? What do you want to distract? I could just. I have an, I have another question I can ask him if you need a distraction. You want to use the smoke yes. grenade? <laughs> okay, okay. So I'm I'm going to I'm gonna to try to engage Aiden in a discussion about the locations of the historical locations of Lalil's powerful sites. Yeah. Cause I am very interested specifically I specifically okay, well I mean you know what I'm asking about, like like in game mechanics terms, but like I'm gonna to pretend to be very interested in like trying to figure out like, you know, like how this sort of how the worship of Lilil is like progressed and like where are like the historically significant sites of like Lilil's powers and all that sort of stuff. Yeah. Oh, a follower of Lilil, I see. So well, I mean, okay, um, we'll just go with it. You look at a map of Antius and he unscrolls it. Um he says, Lilil typically, as you well know, or as far as I know, in both folklore and the Augustinian text, is some sort of eminence of the night. And so, sites that are close to the Leal are sites that have some sort of affinity with the night sky, or close to the night sky. So, mountains, mountain tops, um, some large lakes that might reflect the moon, uh, mystical glades in the forest. Uh oh. <laughs> All are traditionally. Uh, sites of the Leal. Interestingly, this is one spot in my research where I found a lot of crossover between Sahakiel and the Leal. If Sahakiel, as Augustine teaches, uh, has domain over the sky and all that it contains, the moon is a celestial body. And so therefore falls within that 
domain. So how can it have its own jurisdiction if night is just one phase of the sky? So there may be some crossover between sites of Zahakio and sites of Lille. Which might be what's incensing your follower friends. Hmm. Interesting so theory. So we would have sought for sites of Go. Definitely as high as you could get. He gestures at some of the very tall mountains that cut Antius in half. Um, these down here. Oh, where's my pointer? Turned into big a ruin. Down, down here. Okay. These big boys. Big boys. Um, this very, very pointy eye on the coast. Okay. Um, the lake over in between Flick and Keen Tree. Yeah, I was looking at that one. <laughs> um, Hope you guys are taking your notes. Lalil is drawn on the map. An interesting <laughs> angel because she is ostensibly everywhere all the time. You know, some some radical theory suggests that the moon is present even when we can't see it. <laughs> In which case, the Leo's gaze never truly leaves us. So no, you're telling me no one's like you don't have to be them. anywhere in particular to be worshiping her. Like, Bro, are you telling me your no friends one, in the music? Are you telling me no one in this world has looked up at the like sky during the daytime and seen the moon? <laughs> they don't have like good telescopes and shit, man. You don't need a telescope. Okay, sometimes you don't need a telescope. Okay. <laughs> okay. You don't know how my celestial bodies work. Okay. It's, um, it's true. I don't. I really don't. Because I don't know how my such a body is. Yeah, what are, what are the lunar phases, Crow? Like, what cycle are <laughs> They are marked out on the Conca. Um, well, I'll have to go look at it. So, like, Isra Fens within a music piece of song, or Uriel within the fire of the hearth. The Leel is everywhere, every night. And so her sights may be not to sound unscarly, but just wherever people thought was pretty. <laughs> or intrinsically attractive. Yes, intrinsically attractive. He jots that down. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Cool. I got that info. Was that enough of the, of the distraction for whatever Bubble, Bubble was going to do? No, I, I just... I just didn't want to keep talking about cultists. Oh, okay. Let's be like, oh, okay, thank you. That's uh, that's, that's quite interesting. It's a very interesting theory, especially uh, about the moon. Kind of look at everyone else. Yeah. Okay. Any other questions? I don't have any other questions. I got what I wanted. I don't think I have any other questions at the moment. Mm, I'm also don't think I have any. Okay. Vanrill does not want to talk to his heathen at all and is just keeping his yapper <laughs> shut. Wow. See, Farian thinks this heathen is a pretty cool dude. Mm -hmm. You're wrong. But that's the, intro, the intro was a little rough, but <laughs> thinks he's got some cool ideas. Which will totally he... not cause us to be in conflict at all. Um, he... he attempts to shake everyone's hand. Well, I'll shake it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. If you uh, need to contact me again, I will either be here or I have some lodgings at the uh, Silver Eagle down on the west side of town. You can find me there in the evenings. And occasionally I lecture in the public squares. If you learn anything else new, please, please come and find me. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you. Hey. He'll he'll usher you out of his very small office. All right. <laughs> okay. We actually, and Farian's gonna start leaving because I don't know how long I have left, guys. If it's only an hour. <laughs> well, we got the outro music. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna go. <laughs> Forget it's that it's only an hour. Big level things, man. Level five. I already picked my spells, man. Let's go. I haven't picked shit. Do we have like half a day for downtime? Because I think I have 
Um, yes. yes. Okay. If you want to do downtime cash. stuff, you have yeah, ca right. cash to to spend. Yeah. 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 Also, I think if I go ranger, I can start casting. Yeah, I have too. a couple things on the list for growth, so I'll type those up. Yep, I got some things. Not big ones, but well, actually, I'm gonna have to figure it out. Keep going. So anyway, are you gonna multi-class, Bobo? You're not gonna pick up on Candy Dodge. So, ooh, multi-classing well, already. Like, I didn't uh, really... So hold on, first up, um, I'm thinking about mm -hmm. it. I have to. I have to. Um, think, I have to think about it. Maybe not yet. So at level four, everyone is going to see ability score improvement. When yes. you reach fourth level, and again at eighth, tenth, twelfth, sixteenth, oh, and nineteenth, this is this is uh, a good time. You can me. increase one ability score of your choice by two, or you can increase two ability scores of your choice by one, or if because we're using the feats rules, you can skip the ability score increase and take a feat of your choice instead, which is like an additional class feature, which is why they're called feats. Mm -hmm. so like, like I have uh, like sharpshooter. Sharp sharpshooter. Yeah. yeah. Bumble has What's your feet. You're not going to say? say? Okay. No, I'm not going to say. I, I will I say, say I am I'm picking up Polo, Polo Master. Master. Okay. Are these feats designed for your tailored to your character already, or is it anything shows up in your deal? No, there's just a large list of feats. I'm, about to say, cause I'm pretty sure I can't do spell sniper wizard. <laughs> they they might they have, have prerequisites. Yeah. Not the... So like some of them will have like racial prerequisites have class we put it because it's some of them will be like you now yeah, become we... proficient with every armor period there's a list of all the feats so by the way the reason i was thinking about multi-classing is because rogue doesn't have like a second attack and you'd have to go to like ranger for it or fighter um, um rogues your... don't have second attack because their sneak attack die gets stronger with levels yeah, so I was like thinking about it, but I'm like, do I, uh, it's kind of boring. It, it, it's that's like, it's like, eh, do I want it? Do I know? Ranger would make me better at doing fajing, fajing, fajing. Well, so you only get to add your sneak attack tie at the first one. Right. It's not two gigantic attacks because that's too many actions. Um. I would, if you want a suggestion, I would suggest Fighter. Fighter's a little bit more flexible than um, yeah. Ranger. And if you don't care about the other things Ranger is giving you, Fighter's probably better. Fighter is easier. Because you, you, could, you could double down on your like Battlefield Tactician with like um, Battlemaster Fighter. Is it Battlemaster Fighter? Yeah. One of their subclasses. So you could so you could go to Rogue oh, Five. Combat, to combat superiority, which actually gives you a ton of like extra rules though. Yeah, it gives you gives you it gives you like right. you can command your allies to do stuff and lots of new tricks and stuff. So I might just go like to... slowly just be like I'll take it. You know what I mean? Every time we get like two levels, like one level here, one level here. That's all. Just to like get a little bit more because like playing like playing Rogue, um, like the the Mastermind like wallet does have like the cool bonuses that like I use for uh that i'll definitely like use it doesn't give you a ton of like extra like combat stuff it's very light in that regard so that's why i was thinking about multi-class just to get a little bit more extra maybe i don't know i think about it. we got time man it's all good I'm not sure if i'll do it i think i will plus we have a lot of money and now i gotta figure out how to spend it <laughs> yeah. yeah you have some money I got two bills man it's not that much for a wizard <laughs> I don't buy spells man I just go for chicken, uh, chicken. shit <laughs> obligatory reminder that clerics have to buy spells <laughs> oh shit yeah hang on can I even look for I can I even get need some nom to nom on no I'm good Chloe all of my snacks this afternoon and then maybe a brawl and I'm really sad. I was really hungry. You could have eaten the pizza rolls, and I would have been less sad. 
Make him pay, Bumble. He ate my goldfish. Yeah. Okay. Make so, <laughs> um, as of this session, time is moving forwards for oh the boy. enemy factions as well. Oh boy. So think relatively carefully about the things you want to do in the order that you guys want to do them in. And whatnot. What time of the day is it? Like, do we have time to do other things before the? Yes. Yeah. I'm, 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 I'm just gonna say, yeah. You have a half day of downtime. We want dinner. Yeah. No, I hate you have to do that into the mic. <laughs> Nero. Hey, kitty. Because he's not gonna break the noise gate. That's what you think. What is it, buddy? Yeah. Why are so many cool spells? Concentration. <laughs> Constant, that's, that's constant. how they balance cool spells. I know, I know. I listen, dude. Player is saying, <laughs> "Why are all these concentration?" And DM knows exactly why they're concentration. <laughs> Want to meow? No. Wow, my blade song armor class is now nineteen. And if I put haste on it, that's 21. Val. <laughs> what place do you ever use, use rope, rope trick? Oh, I'm keeping that just for comedy, just in case. Like, listen, it's a one action. It's a one action cast. So, like, at some point, I could just be like, I don't want to do this fight anymore and just leave. <laughs> like, <laughs> you can just. You can just sit and act. you never know, Bumble, when you have and you need an extra dimensional space that you can just hang out in for an hour. I don't I don't know, it sounded cool and I feel like Farian would have that, so I took it. <laughs> Rub trick? I just think it's I just think it's neat. Now I'm just imagining Farian trying to like get as many snakes as he can <laughs> <laughs> oh man you snake yeah oh, damn you oh crow i wanted to ask if you would be okay if i homebrewed green flame blade to be an acid cantrip instead of fire like it it would be literally the same except the damage type with that um i don't know if that unbalances anything i don't, I don't think that it does i would warn you that you are likely to fight a lot of fire enemies that are immune to poison damage <laughs> No, 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 like acid. It's the diff. It's different. Okay, there, I mean, it's like acid and poison. You. Oh well, I mean, fine. I'll keep it green flame. But... <laughs> Wouldn't they also be resistant to fire if they're fire elementals? Yeah, yeah, they're also. They're also uh, fire. fine. Okay. <laughs> Hang on. Elementals are pretty tricky, tricky. Yeah. Hang on. <laughs> you, you you can change it if you want to. I'm not. I don't really care about spells like that. That much. You're like clearly doing it for like our gaming purposes. But I can't think of any off the top of my head. No, I don't. So go... I feel like as of this maybe one of the weaker damage types. But yeah, yeah I do too. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I feel like I should diversify cantrip damage, but I don't know if character that would be a thing I would do. Yeah. I don't know. I'll think about. I'll think about a cantrip choice. <laughs> if I want to do this right, or if I just not gonna care. <laughs> think about what? I get one additional cantrip, and I'm like, I should have non-poison, non-acid damage, but in character, I don't actually know if that's a thing that that oh, I God. would do. Like well, you have a week it's, to think about It's gonna it. cause so many problems, mm -hmm. but I might do it. Bubble, what are you going for? 
What am I going for? Yeah. Stabby, stabby. <laughs> Fair. Bumble is a woman of few needs. And Bubbles like, how can I have more action, more like things to do in combat? And Bubbles like, I'm gonna stab it. And stab it so. If he goes, if he, go, if he goes level five rogue, he already has a use for his reaction and bonus action. Yeah, every dude. Turn. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> rogue level five is where it's at, man. So, so, um, thinking about damage economy, Bobo, and why rogues don't need extra attack is because from their uh, two increases to sneak attack die. Right, you're at three d six now on that yeah. bonus damage. On I know that sneak attack skill up. Right, right. So it's so say that you were like a fighter, right, and you had like a, a war axe or a battle axe. You're only swinging for. I think it's like two d six, right? Mm -hmm. The great sword, it's somewhere in there. Um. Where every time every time you're. Sneak attack die goes up in damage. You're essentially getting a, a free additional attack with like a short sword. Mm -hmm. Good point. And, and it, it does just continue to scale. It does just continue to scale. It keeps going so up. <laughs> you don't need to make the extra attack and or get the extra chance to miss. Because rogues are usually pretty good at hitting things. I was actually thinking about doubling up on decks right now. And so second up beat. No, that's oh, not yeah, I did. Honestly, I, did. I think increasing increasing stats is often overlooked for feats, but I really like feats. I almost always pick them. <laughs> oh, I absolutely like like is it, intelligence is there, up. Isn't there value? Are you of, like, wait? Of, like, Carrion's, up, like, Carrion's not going Warcaster. Um, uh, right now, no. Well, the thing is with that is that like um, I already get advantage on con saves, or no, I get plus four bonus to con saves for uh concentration already from Blade Song. So what if you're not in Blades. <laughs> well, that's a problem then, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, like, I was going to do... The actual plan was resilient content at uh, 12th level. Wait, wait, wait. What plan. if what if we all picked plus 5 initiative? <laughs> alert. <laughs> I mean, the for... whole party is alert as heck. For now, I've yeah. picked Constitution and Charisma. I don't know. I didn't think I needed Warcaster yet, but I might regret it. You gotta pick a feat, dude. If you don't have a feat, they're so good. Well, my feats were like, I only saw two options. I wasn't impressed by either one of them. Oh. Wait, you only get... Certain Wait. Ones? What about, like... Why, why, why do you only have certain ones? I don't know. I what followed... about, like, durable? Durable, like something like plus one constitution, plus it has minimum con modifier times two on spend hit dice. So, like, I mean, I did pre requisite and I went with mm -hmm. half health because that's what I am. Yep. And I did the filter. Oh, no, 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 no. So that'll, uh, that'll restrict couple. you to just. Yep, that'll restrict you to the racial ones. Yeah, so there's a couple that are racial, but you can pick any one that doesn't have a prerequisite that you don't have. So, like, defensive duelist, if you have dex 13 or higher, you can just get it. You don't have the. That's the only prereq. And, like, crossbow expert, it doesn't fucking matter what you are. Can be a crossbow expert as well oh. if you really wanted to. You're missing the neutral ones. Maybe. Oh, I so see. you so this... just search for half elf, which is only going to give you the like three racial half elf ones, oh, which no. is not that exciting. <clears throat> no, it wasn't. I was like, this is shit. Yeah, no, that's fine. Grappler. I'm going Strength to meet off to bed. Okay. <laughs> Good, night. Good, night. Good, night. Good night, Bubble. Good night, Bubble. I was also thinking about Lucky, because Lucky is always fun. <laughs> Lucky, oh boy. It's always fun. Oh god, I have to read my Instagram reviews. They're all bad. They're all bad. Which is really annoying, and I think they have the issues that, like, my like with my current paper that they had with my old paper. And I'm, like, really done at this point. I just want to leave. <laughs> what was their issues? Actually, I'm going to stop the stream for now. I, yeah, you might want to do that because this is yeah, yeah, technically yeah. unpublished work. <laughs>